Okay, YouTube, here's an update on my current project. Um, I had an old, uh, or I won't say old, but I had a, a hand cart that I had around the house I wasn't really using. So I mounted my homemade generator to it. You can see the two L uh, brackets that's uh, bolting it down to the, uh, the, the base of the cart. And as you can see, I can move it back and forth and so forth. I also had to use to, to make a uh, little uh, a throttle cable for you know for myself made out of uh, made out of an old uh, uh, clothes hanger, and also um, I've got it hooked up to my system to where it uh, connects directly to my refrigerator and my freezer uh, through my um, auxiliary outlet in my utility room. Uh, the idea is to answer a question that one of my viewers had uh, as to, you know, um, whether or not this thing will work with a refrigerator and how, you know, uh, how, how much would it power and so forth and how well would it work with one, as a matter of fact. But anyway, um, I'm going to, I've already tested it and it works great. Uh, Right now, the, through that ex, this ex, extension cable right here, I've got it backfed into uh, my transfer switch, and that is in turn connected to my refrigerator and my freezer. So I'm going to turn it on uh, right now. As you know, a refrigerator it's a you know they can be a beast, and they are and it's you know it'll be running all the time. The freezer you know it runs on a duty cycle. So, uh, well, they both run on, on a duty cycle, but my refrigerator runs more, <laughs> okay? But anyway, to answer the question, um, I just had this thing running briefly. It was at 12, uh, 12 point, let's say maybe 12.5 volts. I had it running for maybe 15 to 20 minutes, and now, you know, it's, it's well over 13 volts, you know, just charging it. Um, so I've already tested the setup, and it works great. And just for verification for my viewers, um, I'm going to show it running, okay? All right, stand by, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, um, it shows that this thing will run it. It will run it. Um, what I was running was the freezer and the refrigerator both at the same time. And when they're turned off and when you turn them back on again, both at the same time, there's a huge amperage surge, um, you know, a huge surge that, you know, starts up the, both of those motors. That's why my generator, you know, started getting bogged down. Um, and then it took it a little bit to, uh, you know, get up enough RPMs and, 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 you know, and so that the motor would, uh, uh, 
I mean, a motor on the freezer and refrigerator can get up to starting amperage and then run normally. But as you saw, um, you know, it was more than capable of handling it, provided you throttle it as necessary. <laughs> um, but it does work. It does work and it will run. So as opposed to the refrigerator, I did both the freezer and the refrigerator at the same time. Um, so, okay, I think that concludes at least this portion of the test. Uh, it is viable. Um, as you can see again, I, you know, it's on my little dolly. I had to, I made a little, you know, throttle cable out of a, a, a clothes hanger. And, um, uh, this right here, I actually fashioned a, uh, you know, a, uh, a shutoff switch using this, a piece of wire and a screw. And so I'll just put that in there and just put it right there and just pull it out when I, when I need to do an emergency stop or something like that. Um, and you know, with the, these little dollies, you can get them at Ace Hardware. I don't know, if, I mean, maybe thirty, forty bucks or something like that, if that. Um, and mount your generator on top. And again, I definitely don't recommend running this thing, uh, running a refrigerator off of this. But it's you know, it's not very efficient. But if you had one of these, you could run your refrigerator, or your freezer off of a, off of a battery and an inverter, and then re use this to recharge your battery and inverter. Uh, with 120 amps coming out of that at with a 5 horsepower engine, uh, that particular 115 amp hour deep cycle battery will recharge rather quickly. Um, so using this to bulk charge a battery bank or a battery system will be more than sufficient uh, for this type of exercise and for disaster preparedness and so forth. Okay, take care YouTube.